Mason came back from his shopping trip the other day and he said, hey, guess what I found? And then he proceeded to put this thing on my lap. And he said, I found another type of flashing that we can use, right? So naturally I said, is it any good? Now we're not quite old enough to be able to evaluate the long-term performance of a product, but we can surely evaluate the short-term performance. So I said to Mason, okay, why don't we use it and then we'll put it through its paces and then see how it turns out, whether we may decide to use this or stick to our traditional Walker Flex or our Fast Flash flashings that we commonly use. So Mason went through trying to use this particular product and he came back with his answer. Now, I remember when I started roofing, there weren't any products like Fast Flash or Walker Flex. So what, what happened? Because all I saw around the place were lead flashings. You had lead flashings coming out of walls, lead flashings used as apron, there were lead flashings everywhere. And there were no alternatives. And purely because lead has been used for such a long time, doesn't mean that it's the ideal product, right? Because lead's got a lot of shortcomings. When I go around roofs that's got lead flashings, we commonly see cracked lead. And it's because lead cannot cope with movement. And over time, with the ultraviolet and with movement on the roof, lead will eventually crack. And when lead cracks, then you get leaks into your roof. So we got cracked lead flashings everywhere. And the other problem with lead flashings is that it's not compatible with metal, zinc alum. What that means that if you have a metal roof, a, say a zinc alum roof, and you install anything with a lead flashing over the top of the metal roof, over time you've got corrosion happening between the two. Right? So when you lift the lead up, you'll find that the metal has been eaten away. There's a lot of rust and the metal gets eaten away because lead will rust metal. Now there's another disadvantage in lead is that lead can be toxic. So if you've got lead on your roof and you actually catch the water that runs off the roof for either drinking purposes or for other use, then perhaps you may have toxic water. And that's the reason why we are moving away from lead. So lead's not quite the optimum material. So where there is a demand, there's always someone trying to fix that problem. And this is where the flexible lead-free flashings came about. So over the last decade, decade and a half, roofers have used all sorts of flexible flashings as an alternative to lead. So over the years, I've come across many different forms of lead-free flashings. And lately, we have settled down on either Walker Flex or Fast Flash. The two products are slightly different in how they behave and how you install them. I think in certain applications, the Walker Flex product is far superior than Fast Flash. And in other applications, we would go and use Fast Flash. So what's the difference between Fast Flash and Walker Flex. And more importantly, how will these products last the distance? Because you don't want a situation that I discovered the other day when I got onto a roof and there were this new lead-free flexible flashings installed on the roof and used as a step flashing and also as an apron flashing. And what you see is that the flashing is completely disintegrated. There is the aluminium backing for the flexible flashing, that's still there, but you can see that there's only the aluminium mesh and there's holes right through it. The polymer on either side has disappeared and it seems like it's been eaten away by the weather. So this particular flashing looks very much like a fast flash flashing, but I doubt if it's fast flash. I can't really determine what it is, but this is a product that has been used recently that has shown its age and now we know for sure that it's not suitable. It will not last long enough. So if you're getting a new house bill nowadays, 
the chances are is that if you see step flashings on the wall, most builders would choose either fast flash or Walker flex because it seems to be the only viable options out there, right? But the question is, how long will these things last? It hasn't been around long enough and I haven't been around long enough to be able to predict the life of these products. Now, Walker Flex has nominated 10 years as their warranty. 10 years is not a long time. Uh, Fast Flash has gone 20 years. Now, there are no real life comparisons that I can use. So we really don't know the difference between the 10 years on Walker Flex and the 20 years on Fast Flash, whether that's a real difference between the two. Maybe give me another five or 10 years, we can go back to all our jobs where we've used these products and then I'll be able to report back uh, whether these things are still going or not, right? Now, doing research on any product can be quite easy nowadays, right? Uh, all I had to do when I did my research on the differences between LED, Walker Flex, and Fast Flash, and all the other flashings, was to jump onto the computer, ask AI to do a deep research for me, and it pops up with all these results. All the latest data, that pertains to all its flashings. But what this research doesn't provide us is real life situations. In real life, how long do these flashings last? I don't know. And I don't know whether the manufacturers have enough data to be able to back their warranty claims up. But what I do know is that this new product that Mason brought in, we put it to the test and even in the short term test, it failed. Now, a brand new product, short term testing fails. And how did it fail? Well, when you install a flashing on the roof, you've got to put pressure on the flashing, right? And what Mason did was when he was trying to dress it down, he actually put his finger through the flashing he went, oops, this shouldn't happen. So new flashing failed. Not only can't it handle finger pressure, but we don't know whether it will handle the long-term UV problems or with animals that might peck on it and make holes through the flashing. So with this new product, we did some short-term testing and now we know that this is not a product that we will use. But the jury is still out on Walker Flex and Fast Flash. How long will these products last? I don't know. And hopefully I will be able to come back in a few years time and be able to report 